All right, guys, welcome to another Halloween look. This one is on a pumpkin. So to start off this look, I'm going to be taking the Morphe 35O palette and taking this really nice light orange shade and just popping that into my crease as our transitional color. Going back into that palette, I'm taking this even darker orange shade and putting this directly into my crease with a pencil brush. Once I have that color into my crease, I like to make sure it's really blended out, so I go back into my fluffy brush and further blend it. Taking that same orange shade, I'm just putting this onto my entire lid. Going back into that orange shade, I'm just making sure it's blended in with the lit shade. And once more, I'm just going back into that orange shade and repacking it all over my entire lid since it did get blended away a little bit. Going back into the Morphe 35O, I'm taking this really nice orangey shimmer shade and just packing this all over my entire lid. Now taking Makeup Geeks Corrupt, it's just a dark black shade. I'm packing this on the inner and outer corner of my lid, but only a tiny bit. I'm only keeping this halfway on the outer corner and the inner corner. I want the main look to be focused on the orange. Going in with the fluffy brush, I'm just making sure it's nicely blended. Then I go back in with that black shade and repack it on because I want it to be really black. Now I'm taking my NYX Super Skinny Marker and doing a tiny wing. I also take this liner and make a little line in my inner corner. Now we're going to smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm taking them two orange shades we used earlier and smoking this out from inner to outer corner. Then I'm taking that black shade and doing the same exact thing. Taking my Marc Jacobs black eyeliner, I'm putting this in my waterline as well as tight lining. For my bottom mascara, I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and then I'm popping on some falsies. These are the Kiss Style 11. Now we're going to go in and do that little black tear eye you see on the other eye. I'm just taking that black eyeshadow that we used earlier and creating two lines on the side, connecting them at the end, and then filling it in. Going in with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to really make sure it's really smoky at the bottom and more darker at the top. Then I'm taking any nude shade and using that as my brow bone highlight. Then I go back into the orange shade we used earlier and I'm applying this directly into the inner corner. That is it for the eyes. Now we're going to move on to the mouth. To trace my mouth, I'm going to start off with black face paint and I'm making two lines at the top by my nostrils and then I'm connecting them with the straight line across my mouth. Then I'm taking two separate lines and putting them right against my mouth and then putting lines up to create the teeth. Then I'm going back in and kind of doing a boat curve shape, connecting them at the bottom. Here I'm doing the same thing we did at the top, making two lines at the bottom of my mouth and connecting them. Once I have that done, I'll go back into that face paint and just darken it up before I fill it in. Now 
Now here I'm taking any concealer and carving it out to make it nice and clean. To fill it in, first I'm going in with my black face paint. This just helps in case I mess up, it's easy to wipe away. Once I filled it in with the face paint, I go back into that black eyeshadow we used earlier and fill it in even more. This makes it even darker. Now that we finished the mouth, I'm going back into the orange shade we used earlier and with a big fluffy brush, I'm just filling in the bottom wherever we did not put that black face paint. Then once again, we're gonna make stripes like we did on the top of the eyes. I'm making sure they're really straight wherever we put the top ones. And I'm drawing them in and then filling them in. And then I go back in with my fluffy brush to make sure they're really smoky like we did with the top. Going back in with that black, I want to make sure it's really darkened. Then I'm going to go back in with the orange eyeshadow and kind of contour my forehead a little bit. And that is it for this pumpkin Halloween makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.